All right, so we're just finishing up uh, the main floor here. We have just finished this room right here. With the walls painted, um, connecting the main floor out to here. We get all the tools out of the one bedroom. So we need the floor in there next. Have the floor going into my room here, and that's going to uh, have all the tools in here for right now, just so we can do the floor in the normal tool room. Have the bathroom prepped. Um, so we can get the flooring in the bathroom next. Um, up here, we have the glass windows installed. And very nice, they came out very nice. So the glass windows are installed. We got the molding around the windows installed. Have the fan installed. <clears throat> and then I have this wood um, supporting beam right here. So that's going to stop any wind pushing at us or uh, pulling away. It's going to keep that wall very tight. Down here, we have not yet done the flooring down here, but we did do the moldings for the most part in this room. Um, what's left to do is the ceiling, insulate up here, get all the stuff out of here. We're going to be doing the, uh, doing the floor up here also. Doing this ceiling and floor up here but that's not until we finish the floor down here so today we have to give you an update here uh, the floor is laid down as you can see we have stuff all over the place reason for that is we have cleared the upstairs because now we're going to start working upstairs so as we come upstairs here you can see we've laid um, it's just a one ply, uh, just kind of subfloor down, and what that's going to do is give us a nice base to work with uh, if we want to put a laminate floor down. Um, also, plan to do is replace this window right here with this one right here. We had taken that out of the front room, so we're going to knock this out, move the security system, and uh, install the window here. Also going to need to put some better supports up here. I'm going to just be doubling them up in each side and making sure that they are level with this ceiling up here. Then we're going to insulate this wall. Make sure we have the baffles, insulate it. And then we're going to be putting these boards all the way down after we poly them. Um, after doing the ceiling, we'll get the floor done. And um, so that that should be that should be about it. All right, so I'm just going to give you an update uh, progress so far. Look here in the bathroom, as you can see, got the floor down. Uh, we got the toilet installed, looking pretty good. Um, we got the sink in here with this old style faucet. And the lights here. Um, Floor is looking good, just cleaned up the shower a little bit. So this room is pretty much the first room that we have um, almost done. I just got a cover here, thing for the toilet paper there, but it's looking very good. Um, then as we go upstairs, as you can see, we've started insulating um, the ceiling here, which is very hard finding the 24 inch wide insulation. It's not easy to find. Uh, the, the floor here, We've put some one ply four by eight down, and that's giving us a nice subfloor here. So we want to put this the laminate snap floor down. It's going to give us a nice base kind of to start with. Before it was very uneven, we had cracks, everything like that. So you really couldn't uh, put anything down on that. So this gives us a nice uh, starting uh, platform here. And now what we've done is put some two by fours up. And uh, I'm going to be insulating this wall here and um, basically uh, being she going to sheetrock this. Also install this window here before we had a very old, small, broken window. What I did was just cut this window frame out, made a little frame around this. And because this is not really doing any weight and I left the existing support, it's more of just... Um, cosmetic uh, just to make sure this windows snug and secure um, up here we've added 
this here, so when I put my top uh, wood and connect this here, we're going to be able to have something to nail up to. This is my last kind of supporting piece of wood here. Um, we have the air ducts going up beyond where the insulation is go goes, right, which is right here. Um, so what we're going to be doing is sheetrocking, mudding this, painting this, and then we're going to be taking the wood and going along the top here. After the wood is done, this wall is done, then we're going to be doing uh, the floor down here and putting some railings uh, for safety around the front and around this uh, stairs here. And as you can see, we also have some electrical that uh, we're going to be cutting the holes for. Um, we also did some LED lighting here. It's very economical, very low heat. Um, so what we used was existing power and we have these little adapters that turn into LED lighting, recessed lighting. So that'll light up upstairs here. So that's pretty much the progress so far as you can see. We have the fan installed here. And the door is now open, it's warm enough. So we can have the door open, which is nice in spring here. And we have just stuff all over the place because right now normally that stuff would be up in the attic but we are working in the attic, so everything had to go downstairs temporarily. All right, so what we've done so far now is we've insulated the rest of the ceiling, as you can see. Um, this was just, actually we had scraps around and throw it away. We used that insulation. As you can see, we've just sheetrocked this wall. We we'll put some uh, mud here, and it's pink right now, but it's gonna turn clear or white once it's dry. So this is the last sanding here. After that, we're going to be painting this wall right here. Added an extra outlet up here. We're actually going to put a closet, little uh, closet here. Put all the electrical in the closet. Keep that nice and organized. Cameras and um, alarm system, things like that. Over here, we have this ceiling that's going to go up. We went with um, 16 footers and 14 footers. What we're going to do is stagger them. Um, so we'll have a 16 footer and then cut that down to 10 foot and then kind of stagger the joints um, and that's going to be starting at one side of the um, ceiling here and working our way up and going way back down here. So that's going to give us a uh, nice cool, in, in the winter time it's going to be nice and cool, uh, I'm sorry in the summertime it'll be nice and cool, in the winter time it'll keep the heat in with insulation and it'll just give it a nice clean look. So we've polyed these, and we're letting that dry right now. And uh, yeah, so that's that's uh, where we are now. Okay, so now you can see we've added some white birch logs, um, and coming up here. That's just going to give a little bit extra support. We have that screwed into the ceiling, into the floor. It just takes some of the shakiness out of the floor. If you jump up and down now, a lot stiffer. Plus, it looks really cool. Once we do the laminate floor, we're going to cut around there and we're going to put a little molding piece around the top and it kind of looks like you have a tree coming through your floor, which is cool. And then when we do our rails, we're going to use some white birch here along here too. Um, give it that finished look. As you can see, the ceiling, we're almost done. We have that last piece to do, um, which is always the hardest. Um, the way we did this is we started from the bottom again. We're just having too much trouble with going down, this boards became way too um, not even anymore, so we decided going from the bottom up a lot easier on our arms, but now we have this last piece here we have to figure out, so that I'll be messing around with today, getting that finished up, but all in all, this looks looking much better. Um, sand, sand down this a little bit and get any of these runs out and any scuff marks out, but uh, that's just a little bit of finished work. Okay, now you can see we've uh, finished the ceiling here. Uh, put the rest of this ceiling up, just finished that last night. And uh, I mean, there's a couple seams here when you look real close that we're just probably gonna fill some scrap pieces. But all in all, when you look down, um, looks very nice. You get a nice clean look. Uh, it is just a loft, so um, you don't want it to be perfect. But um, yeah, it looks much better and the unfinished, it's all insulated now. 
So you get a nice view here and I'm just going to put the handrails up and we'll be putting the floor in next. So we're we'll working on that the next couple days. And then the upstairs should be complete. Then uh, we can clean up the downstairs, uh, which is a bit of a mess right now. And um, we'll give you kind of an overall look. Uh, then we'll be working on some water, getting the water um, on at the house here. And uh, yeah, so that's how we are so far. So as you can see now, we've started to do um, the lock down floor. This is a swift lock, um, much better than the floor we did downstairs as far as locking together. Just a smoother lock, less issues with the, the, the top laminate having any issues as far as breaking. Um, it clicks together very smooth, we can move together very nice. Uh, the color I do like downstairs, the color a little bit better, but as far as uh, connecting them together, and this is just a cheap floor, 99 cents per square foot. Um, it doesn't come with the pads, we had to lay the pad down, but that's only an extra 25 cents. So it's still a very cheap floor. Ceiling's finished now, I took the alarm, here, alarm panel and any excess wires, uh, alarm system, just put it in here, clean up the wiring, but still has good airflow. We left the back open, so all the heat, and actually you do feel some heat coming out of there. Um, <clears throat> ceiling's finished now, just gave it some of the spots a recoat. Re As you can see, the, the trees we have coming through, and this is gonna be the railing. So we're putting some metal wires between here uh, in the base here, we put some timber bolts in the ground here to give a nice secure um, connection. And once you join these on the top into the wires, that's going to make it much stronger. Um, over here, this almost looks like the trees coming through the floor into the ceiling, which is a really neat look. Um, but that's just screwed into the ceiling, screwed in the floor, and timber bolts added. And we'll be adding a top piece here um, all along. This is about uh, 32 inches high, so that gives still a nice view if you're sitting down of the lake. Um, so today we hope to finish the, the flooring and um, maybe work on the, the hand railing. Okay, as you can see now we've finished laying the floor. Uh, we put the handrail up here. Got that polyed. Um, got this handrail up here also. I uh, have a little bit of molding left to do, just this corner and this piece, I'll pick that up. But the alarm system is all done, all nice and neat, the ceiling's done, and looks really nice. Floor was uh, pretty good to install versus the downstairs, that was a swift lock, so definitely recommend that. Alright, I'll give you an overview of the house next.